we're just showing some vision of the product um, when you know you go into a store a cafe restaurant and you can pay very quickly with this uh, device that you've produced just talk us through what the last 12 months or so has looked like because it feels as though some of your traditional customers might have been forced into COVID restrictions and therefore shut, whereas it might have been a, a lifeline for others that had to re-gear their business uh, for customers uh, coming into to stores or, or, or just makeshift setups. So just how volatile a year was it for your company? So we, we serve very much the long tail tail of merchants at the point of sale. So basically by supplying them payments through, through our card reader. And those merchants are the ones that were probably the worst hit by the pandemic. Um, and we saw volumes decline by like 70, 80% in like the a year ago at the height of the pandemic. But then we also saw a very good recovery um, from like Q3 going on. And I think uh, we, we now see some nice growth. I, some say that the pandemic was actually more like the chief digital officer for small merchants because the new reality just brought you to invest in new channels to sell online to deal with ordering, to have a click and collect solutions in place. So we've seen quite a take up from ancillary take down technology from our merchants that really invest more in, in making their, their store more future proof. And then now as the world opens again, we do see this continuing where once you start selling online out of uh, the pain of the pandemic, um, now you continue and you just have a bigger bigger sales market to go to. Um, I didn't know much about your company. I still don't know much about it, but I'm, I'm fascinated. I've got one question which has got to follow up as well. So the first one's quite short. Where's the growth for you? Is it in the hardware, the actual product, or actually the software behind it? Well, we, we, we use an integrated solution. So we offer payment and the hardware in one piece. So we make it super simple for the merchant to just go to our website, buy the card reader, get next day in the mail, and start, start using it. So it's... Uh, quite a revolution versus the, the traditional payment providers, I would say. And we see really good take up with that. We do this in 34 countries. So the whole of Europe plus Brazil, Chile, the United States and Colombia. Um, and we see like a need of the small merchant long tail to accept card payments and not having a proper solution is very, very large, I would say. Um, and that's what we're just capitalizing on over the last couple of years. We are covering more than 3 million merchants across the world. Look, it looks great. Don't get me wrong. It looks like it's empowering a lot of small companies, and that looks fantastic to me. But I'm just asking you a, perhaps a bigger question. How, why do you exist? Because I can't believe that the banks have missed such a huge opportunity. What do you think is going on there, the reason that you're allowed to do this uh, at the point of sale, when, dare I say, at larger financial institutions seem behind the curve? It's a very underserved market, and the, the way the structures of the traditional acquirers work is very much door-to-door -door distribution and face-to-face -face meetings, and we just solve this whole thing through technology, and thereby serving our customers becomes much, much more affordable for us than for the competition, where we talk about like a price advantage of 1 to 10, I would say. Um, so the, I think the, the efficient frontier for our competitor is like 10 times larger than our average merchant, um, just because we focus very much through technology on this long, uh, long tail niche in the market.